We're here at the Photography Show and I'm here interviewing Russ Jackson. Russ Jackson, an incredibly talented newborn photographer and has also set up his own training company for the last few years that really helping so many people. Welcome Russ, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jan. So we've known each other for a long time and I know your business has changed so much over the years. Tell me a little bit about the business, what you're doing and how much it's changed. Yeah, I mean, there's been a few changes, hasn't there, over the last few years, particularly with COVID. Um, what I'd say is the massive change in my business over the last five years, so talking about COVID times, uh, was moving to selling more product, uh, absolutely. I got to the point in 2017, 18, even 2000, yeah, 2017, where I was so busy that I couldn't keep up with both doing sessions and doing viewing appointments. I just didn't have enough time. Because you're, you're not a big team of people. No, it's you, I, I'm it? basically a one-man man. Yeah. Val, my wife, does help me. It's more with the admin side of things, a little bit of editing, social media posts, and all the rest. Um, but when it came to the actual nuts and bolts of the photography um, and, and the sales, which of course, you know, obviously making money is why we all do it. I just found that I didn't have enough time to do my shoots, put in all my editing, and then do evening viewings. So, and, and, and you're not alone amongst that. Most of our photographer customers that are in the newborn and family portrait are often one person businesses. Yeah. Maybe with somebody helping, but ultimately, you know, it's all falls on your shoulders, yeah. doesn't it? Well, it's a, it's a good problem to have, I guess. Uh, but what it forced me to do, in a way, was to do more online galleries, uh, which sort of resulted in more digital sales, yep. uh, which is, it, it's okay. But the problem was, is that I was, I was working so hard that I was neglecting my family life, my personal life. I didn't have any sort of balance. Um, and as you know, we, we had a chat back in 2017. What I really needed to do was up my prices. Your advice was to double my prices, which at the time for me was terrifying. I thought well, that I you, would lose you, all that you business. You were too cheap. I yeah, mean, I you, know, was. you were teaching. Um, even though I was doing sort of good average sales, five, six, seven hundred pound sales, um, I still wasn't managing to sort of get to the level financially. That I wasn't able to, to achieve those goals. Yeah. Um, so I felt that I was just constantly working, chasing my tail, but I wasn't seeing enough growth financially. Um, and that's also when um, we were made aware of the Sue Bryce, Sue Bryce education and her amazing. Um, you know, her advice on sales and how to to up your sales by doing the reveal wall yeah. and selling obviously beautiful folio boxes. And, and I know the reveal wall has been a key part of your business. It has um, absolutely changed everything. Um, so the reveal wall, we're going to do an interview later on, which you can catch that one too. We'll be saving that. Yeah, I'll be doing a talk later. It's just on the reveal wall. But I know the reveal wall enabled you to really focus on high quality product as well. So that yeah. balance between showing the pictures, but knowing that they were going to have something quality in their well, hands. I mean, it was a win-win. So what I was doing was, was doubling my prices. In fact, more than doubling my prices. Um, I was uh, shooting half, so I did lose some customers that just felt that I wasn't affordable, but I found better quality customers that were happy to pay a much higher price, but for a premium product. Um, that half my time, which meant that I had the time in the evenings to do my reveal sessions, um, and obviously spend much more time with my kids. And it is a work-life balance, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's really important to get that. Let me just show um, the, the viewers something that we've done. So the reveal box, partners perfectly with the reveal wall. Uh, it's part of the Sue Bryce collection. This one's in a brown leather. It comes in hundreds of different materials and colors. For you to choose something that's unique for your customer, for your photographs, or even your brand. Yeah. So it's a great product. Inside here we have um, some of your photos. We have some beautiful high quality mats. Um, and you'll see the mats that we have. They are super quality, super thick mats, and we do an even thicker mat than that. And they're 100% archival mats as well. These are with the HD printing, um, and we've really stepped aside, stepped forward really with the, with the whole print system by using the HD print system. Tell me a little bit about the printing side of things. I know you've tried different prints and different I, things. I have, yeah. So, I mean, there's nothing that can be, I, I love the fine art HD printing. It's just second to none. Um, what I love about Graphy as well is that I can send you Adobe RGB files. So if I'm using more color in my images, 
those colours really, really do. So no matter what punch the tonal out. range, you're yeah, going to yeah. actually and get the And the blacks, you know, as you know, I shoot a lot of black and white. Um, I just find that the the um, you know the depth the depth in the blacks the color range uh, the the tonal range is, is second to and, that, and that's because we're printing on a brilliant white paper with a pitch black yeah. ink. Um, when we used to use black and white films, you used to get amazing tonal ranges. But when people moved to digital laser, um, you know, getting the blacks out of RGB process, mm. we lost that. We lost the tonal range because those machines can't see all of that tonal yeah, range. Absolutely. And, uh, and so now with the HD print system, you're getting stunning black and whites. And actually, you can see um, a beautiful uh, uh, father and son picture here. I think it's a son, is it a son? It's, uh, yeah, that's that's actually my, my second cousin with his little boy. So uh, it was quite a special picture to take. But, um, but, but yeah. Beautiful black and whites. Um, you know, and that comes about from the HD print system. Um, so. We've looked at the reveal wall, or we're going to look at the reveal wall. I know it's successful. How much did that increase your sales by moving from digital to, to printed product? Well, put it this way. When we had our chat back in 2017 and you said double my prices, when I thought to myself that I would be asking my clients to be spending £1,500 and up, I, 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 I didn't believe it. So if, if 2017 Russ could see us now talking where I'm doing 17, 50, 2,000 pound sales regularly through the reveal wall, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have believed it. It's absolutely transformed everything. And the nice thing about the reveal wall is that you don't have to sell. So when a client picks these final, the, the final product up in their hands, all they have to do is pay and go home with their product. It's, There's it, no it, cooling it, off period, is it? It is so easy. Yeah. And the nice thing about it as well, you know, with online galleries, you, you wait every day that, wait, that, that you're waiting for your client to sit down together and, and find the time to go through the gallery and choose the images. You know, you can often, I, I've got online galleries that are still outstanding from two, three years ago. Wow. Um, so that's a dead sale. I've done all that work and I've actually made no money from it. Yeah. And it's just because they can't find the time. There's always something a little bit more important. Whereas when you commit them to the reveal wall and they're there and then they see their products, all they have to do is pay you and they can take them home on the day. It's incredible. What I like about um, the reveal box as well, the, the photo boxes, that you have different options. My clients can either have the reveal box or they, I really like the folio box where I can customize their box with their baby's name on the front. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they can put the baby's birth date. You can really customize it from that point of view, um, as well as the different ranges of colors and letters. So I had a client last week who had a beautiful orange sofa in their room, and they wanted to match a box that would fit in with their decor. Fortunately, uh, Graffy do the, I showed them the letter yeah. and they said, that is perfect. So they've created a, a, a piece of art. It was a reveal box that they can put on their mantelpiece that matches their living room absolutely perfectly. And, and I think that's the point. It can be um, your brand color, it can be to match the photographs, yeah. or it can be to match their home. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I like to offer as much service as possible. So, uh, you know, in our sessions, we offer um, and include, as part of our session fee, we, we include professional hair and makeup. But when it comes to their final product, I want them to have something unique, yeah. uh, something that's special to them that nobody else has. Well, that, um, and that's just increasing the value. It's increasing the service. And that means that I can charge a premium. And that price. leads us on to kind of the next stage of your journey, which mm -hmm. is now you've, you've got this amazing sale with your reveal wall. And now the next stage is for us to work out how you can move that, not just for the reveal wall, but and to move into wall, wall art. art. Yeah, yeah. And, so, uh, and I think with the, certainly with the Graphic Studio wall art, where we've created products that are almost totally unique, like the Amalfi panel here, yeah. which is a, a beautiful, this one's a black and white print um, with this Amalfi paper frame, then are mounted on a board that's wrapped in a linen or a wood finish to, to complement the photograph. Totally unique. Either as a large piece or as multiple small, small pieces. Yeah. So what I love about the wall art that you do is the multiple the multiple frames. I love the canvas pro. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm not one for very glossy finishes, so the canvas works for me. Yeah. Um, and what I love about it as well is the Amalfi papers, but also the fine art uh, paper that that we do in the reveal boxes. Um, I love fine art paper. I've always liked it. I experimented a bit with it with the, the very expensive fine art papers. Yeah. But what I found is you just look at it and it scratches. 
um, you know, the slightest little little scratch on the surface and it, and it removes the ink. Yeah. Whereas with the, and, and the final tape that you do, is they're really robust. That's down to the Canon Dream Lab yeah. that, we've, that, that we've chosen to, to work with and our engineers yeah. creating the print profiles that work for us. Yeah. Many companies will buy a machine and they'll print from it and it'll be okay, but they'll use the manufacturer's print profile. Because we've been in business for a very long time, since the mid-1980s, and we've done repro work for the National Gallery of London, we've done repro work for the Vatican, our guys know about print. Mm -hmm. And so they sit and they write the print profiles for the machines to actually create the best quality. We don't really care how much ink it uses. Yeah. We want it to be the very, very best quality. And so that's why you can get just a bit, bit like a camera, really. You know, yeah. you can put the camera in someone's person's hand and another person's hand, and you'll get totally different results, yeah. even if they're shooting at the same thing. And it's it's the same for the print system. Our guys create something totally unique out for that printer to give the very, very best results. Yeah. Well, what I like about it um, is is when I get my prints back and I look at my monitor and I look at the print, they, they're perfect. Yeah. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm using a color calibrated monitor. Uh, that's really important too, is yeah. to have a monitor. Uh, photographers often sometimes miss this point. They buy an amazing camera with yeah. an incredible chip in it, probably spend even more on the glass on Absolutely. the program. Then they might go and buy a nice computer, but they're on a on a the, the screen the that laptop. comes with that, yeah, you know, yeah. or on a laptop or whatever, and not realizing actually how important that is. They need to yeah. have a great monitor, yeah. and you can you can plug in high quality monitors to your laptop or your other machine, so you can do your editing just on yeah. those, and yeah. that's what you do. Don't you? I use a MacBook Pro, and I just I just plug that into my monitor. I've got an ISO monitor, uh, one so. of the best quality. We've actually yeah. got ISO at the show here. We're going to be uh, yeah, yeah. talking about the monitor too. So. The BenQs are very good as well. So everyone, you, I mean, they've come down a lot in price. You can get an excellent, uh, a really, really good professional quality monitor for five hundred pounds, six hundred pounds now, which is a lot cheaper than the one that I spent five years ago. So, but that will still be a good monitor. Yeah, if you're calibrating good. it, and yeah, that's yeah. key too, isn't Absolutely. it? To calibrate the monitor yeah. is important. Yeah, very, very, very important. So, the next step is us to help you move that to reveal wall. Yeah. To so, get so into what I want to do is. now is is obviously reveal wall has been so successful for me. I don't want to to change that system, but what I want to now do is integrate reveal wall and, and find a system where we can really start pushing the wall out sales as well. Well, let's watch that space, because I know we've been yeah. talking about that, and it's something that we're going to bring to you guys in the next session that we have um, after the show, once, once we manage to get this all running how yeah. we want it to run. But I'm pretty confident that we can get your sales up even further. Absolutely. You know, I said it to you a few years ago, but yeah. I'm confident. I'm still, I'm still nervous. I'm still nervous. I think it all, we always are when this changes. It's, um, it's the perennial problem yeah. of all photographers. You're worried about people not buying your images because you put all that heart and soul into it. Yeah. But that's one of the things that I know and I understand the psychology of why people make those yeah. sales and, that, and make those. And it's not about high pressure sales, it's not about being a great salesman, it's not about any of those things. It's about ensuring that, that your customers truly understand the value. Yeah. To them, the most of what those pictures on the wall yeah. be, and we can help you do well, that. Well, I think the most important thing is turning over a profit. So now that I know that I'm turning over a good profit with this, yeah. any wall sale, are, any wall sale that I do is a bonus. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I mean, I, I will price it correctly, obviously, to make sure that I am making a very tiny profit on it. But yeah. I don't have to rely on wall art sales in order to, yeah, you've got to a, make my profit you've, because you've done this your is business working plan. And, and wall art will be a bonus. Well, that's yeah. really important too. Yeah. Do your business plan, mm -hmm. know what your costs are, know what you need to earn from each shoot. Yeah budget it and if you've done that then everything else is extra holiday yeah. Time, isn't it? So. yeah and the other thing I want to mention about um, a customer walking away with a product like this is that it really adds so much it's so much value I, I, I don't know how to explain it I, I sell a 10 image box similar to this for for 1,500 pounds I've just bought a new MacBook Pro <laughs> for 2,300 but I guarantee you that once my clients have been through my sessions, had that experience, seen their pictures, got this in their hands, they value this so much more than a computer that will be redundant, redundant in five years' time. time. Yeah, yeah. This gains value. As their children grow up, I've got a 15-year-old that's probably already looking forward to moving out of home. As your children grow up, those pictures become more and more precious and add more and more value to them. So, you know, for those of I know there's always, uh, when I do my teaching, 
there's a lot of photographers around different parts of the country that are saying, well, Russ, you're in London, you know, you can charge those prices. Not about that. Well, the App Store doesn't charge anything less for an iPhone in any other part of the country outside from London. An iPhone is an iPhone. It costs the same wherever. So I don't buy into this sort no, of... No, if you, if you have to create the value in people's mind of how important yeah. these are to them, and once you've done that, yeah. then the price is, is and, often immaterial. Yeah, and that's what's so important about having a decent website that, that is conveying those messages yeah. and, and explaining to people why printing uh, and having the printed product is so important. Well, it's part of it, isn't it? Yeah. Good or great photography absolutely critical high quality printed products absolutely critical mm. over and above service those three things absolutely. if you offer those three things yeah. that's the winning formula yeah. and you just need to market it in the right way to make sure people are aware of you yeah well my my catch line or my load or my um, what would be what would you call it my outlook on my photography is is there's three pillars exceptional photography excellent service and a premium product Absolutely. That. You put those three together and you, you, you're on your way. And then, of course, good marketing as well. So, let's talk a little bit about your training. Yeah. So, you offer training courses. I know you've got two coming up in November. That's right. Is that right? Yeah. Tell me a bit more about so, those. So, um, I do both online online teaching, so through RushJacksonAcademy.com, and then I also do in-person uh, newborn workshops and maternity workshops from time to time. Um, so we've got a in-person workshop at my studio in London coming up in November the um, 18th, and then the following week I'm going to be in Scotland in Dundee. On the 24th, isn't it? On the 24th. Yeah. So to, uh, so London and Dundee. So if you're up in Scotland, um, you know, or down in the south, you're more than welcome. Come along. Contact Russ Jackson Academy. You can find him on Facebook, on Instagram. Yeah, Facebook, um, Instagram, Russ Jackson Academy, or Russ Jackson Photography if you're on Instagram. And then um, if you're going online to my website, rushjacksonacademy.com. I'm going to be in Dubai as well, actually, next month on the 6th of October. Cool. All those Russ, um, thank you very much for joining yeah, us. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank thanks, you. Jeremy. Thanks, everyone.